However, the new power balance in Greece will look like after the general elections of May 21st, there are certain issues that cannot wait to be solved. Issue number one. The whole political system is confronted with a rather significant institutional crisis. We've recently read the European Parliament Committee reports from Libe and from PEGA. We've seen Greece ranking really low in international indexes on press freedom. We've experienced attacks towards independent authorities in the country. And there is rather a significant lack of trust expressed towards Greece's judiciary system. So it's indeed the responsibility of the whole political system to deal with this institutional crisis uh, in an urgent matter. Issue number two, the future of energy in Greece. The country needs to definitely re-accelerate its green transition. Uh, its delignatization plan, for example, seems to be in a pause at the moment. It needs to better regulate its energy market. Greece is the only EU member state that trades 100% of its energy in the spot market. And the energy poverty is still an open wound for the country that needs to make extra room for energy communities. Issue number three, the country is confronted with a deep, very deep urban-rural divide, a significant issue that is linked with two dimensions. On the one hand, the demographic challenge, and on the other hand, the future of uh, the country's basic infrastructure, as we've recently experienced after the tragic train crash in Tembi a few months ago. Issue number four, the youth unemployment and overall how the country actually makes use of its youth, uh, of its young and skillful people. Uh, Greece is topping the Eurostat list when it comes to youth unemployment for years now, and this of course leads to uh, the young people leaving the country. The numbers of brain drain may not be as big as a few years ago, but still this is indeed a crucial challenge. Issue number five, the exploding living costs. Uh, for example, Greece is again topping the lists of Eurostat EU silk indicator when it comes to the housing cost over burden rate. It's a tough reality that comes as a consequence of the consecutive crisis that the country is going through. Last but not least, the international environment. The outcome of the general elections, both in Greece and in Turkey, may lead to a new uh, dynamic, a new power balance in the Aegean and the Mediterranean. Greece will probably need to reassess its role when it comes to the European perspective of the Balkan region, and especially of the Western Balkan countries. And of course, the reform of the EU migration policy will bring to the forefront Greece's pivotal role in the region.